begin tonight in Mwingi, where at least 10 people have been killed and three others injured following a land dispute between two families. Now, one family is said to have hired a gang to attack its land rivals, but as Angel Katusa reports, the revenge attack has left a village in mourning. Penina Munyoki watched in shock as police collected four bodies from her compound, that of her husband and her three children. The four killed by a gang that raided their home in Nyanya village of Mwingi in Kitui County around 1 a.m. Thursday armed with machetes, killing the four on the spot. She escaped with her head injury. Meters away, two other families mourning their loved ones. The same gang is said to have raided the families. In the first home, the gang killed a man and his wife, and in the second home, they killed a famous businessman, his wife, and two male workers. <laughs> It is not yet clear what was the intention of the killings. However, some witnesses say that a man close to the affected families who was recently released from committee maximum prison could be behind the killings. It is alleged that the ex-convict had threatened the families affected, claiming they were behind his imprisonment so they could acquire his piece of land. Others said that the families had a land dispute and that one family hired a gun to attack the others and this was a revenge mission. You've also come to discover that there are other two bodies who are lying somewhere we you believe are part of that. So that makes 12. And then uh, the people also pursued uh, using the footprints. Eh? Pursued the, the suspects to a place called Malioni in the Waita. And uh, three of them were, were killed, have been killed already. So that makes a total of 15 people who have died. Mwingi police boss Simon Biri says investigations are underway. Angel Katrice, KTN Prime.